Okay, let's look at making a list now. You've probably seen this before, the use of commas. It's even pretty common across languages like in Chinese, but let's pay attention to some of the rules in English on making a list and using the comma, which is called the serial comma. Of course, here's a very simple example. The main crops of Taiwan include sugarcane, comma, rice, comma, bananas, comma, pineapples, comma, and peanuts. And I think the only thing to really pay attention there is the last bit, the last two, that's pineapples and peanuts. It's using the word and at the end of the list. I think you're probably familiar with that. But you know that sometimes you can include the comma or not have the comma for that last two combinations. I think it's very important to keep the comma there also. And the reason is because if you write a list, you could actually write a list that has two things together with and, but they're not actually separate things. So let me give you an example. Bill likes to eat pizza and Coke, comma, hamburgers and french fries, comma, jello and pudding. So this is and, two things and, two things and, two things and. So it's two things, comma, two things, comma, two things. So this gets very confusing, right? Hmm? If you're using the and, is it two things together or is it just the last two things apart? So I suggest you always use the comma for the last two together. Let's look at another example here. Here's an example of using three sentences to give an idea, which is pretty basic. My mother lives in my house. My father also lives with me. Lastly, there is my brother. So we have three ideas here, three sentences. Very easy, very straightforward. That's okay. The problem with that kind of writing is it's taking up a lot of space for a very basic idea. A better way to do that would be to combine those words or phrases together into one sentence. And the way we can do that is like this example here. My mother, comma, father, comma, and brother. See, remember right there, we have that last one has a comma. All live at my house. So that makes it much easier to read and saves a lot of space. Remember, I'm always saying this, before the comma, no space. After the comma, one space. Before comma, no space. After comma, one space. It's so easy to get confused, especially for non-native English speakers. So please pay attention to that. Let's look at another example here. I like to eat apples, comma, oranges, comma, pears, comma, and watermelons. You see, I've got that comma, and, I like that. I woke up, comma, ate breakfast, comma, put on my clothes, comma, and went to school. You see, now we're getting a little bit more complicated because it's things that I'm doing. So I think it's important to keep that comma on the last one. One more here. I do not remember if Bill's car is red, comma, green, comma, or blue. Okay, so that's the serial comma, easy to make a list. Remember, no space before a comma, one space after, and include a comma on the last two.